Have you ever received feedback that felt discouraging? So have I. Rejection happens all the time in science and research, whether it's research papers, grants, or even an ethics application. Not everything can be exactly right first time around. And that's why we have academic review to make sure that what you're putting out there into the world is the best version of itself. It's also really important to reframe feedback as constructive. Remember, it's not you that's being reviewed, it's your work. I had one paper that was rejected by a number of journals and the feedback that I kept getting was that it didn't meet the scope of their journal, didn't even make it to peer review. I thought that my paper did meet the scope of their journal. So clearly what I'm thinking isn't being translated. I rewrote, reframed and resubmitted to another journal and now it's under review. Fingers crossed. And if you get meaningful critique from experts in your field, that means that your work is worth being taken seriously. So every time you get feedback and you use it, your work and your craft improves. You can ask yourself, are there patterns in the feedback, like with my multiple rejection? And what can you change immediately? You may get feedback like this needs to be written more concisely. This is something that if you continue to work on it becomes a habit and becomes part of your craft and your academic or your research or your scientific practice. If you're really invested in your work, it can be hard, but once you've taken some time to pause and reflect on what was said, you can address that feedback with renewed energy. And remember that you're always learning and even Nobel Prize winners get rejected.